There you go, dude. Hey, man. Little tense is fine, man. <laughs> First off airport landing. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> we are John Clinker and Ryan Evanson. Two pilots with a passion for aviation and all things flying and a deep desire to learn and experience backcountry aviation. Come along with us as we learn, explore, and just have an absolute blast. Thank you for joining us on our Kit Fox adventure. my goodness. Sometimes I feel like I should strap a GoPro to my head and film the complete ridiculousness involved with getting two four-year-olds and a two-year-old all dressed and breakfast and pottied and out of the house to go to school. It's absolutely nuts. Um, some of you might understand, um, but most of you probably don't. Um, anyway, take my word for it. Ridiculous. Anyway, um, so I'm running about 15 minutes behind, fortunately for me, so is everybody else. So um, we're on the way, we're gonna meet up with Jeff again, but also add a couple new pilots in. Um, my buddy Mark, he's actually my co-pilot for work, and uh, a uh, longtime friend of mine, young guy named Forrest. Uh, Mark flies a uh, Challenger 2 Ultralight, and uh, Forrest has a, uh, a little Super Cup, so um, hopefully everybody can make it. I'm not sure if Forrest can make it, uh, but Mark sounds like he's a go. So we're gonna check out some new spots today, and it should be epic. Oh yeah, um, the whole kid thing, that's why I always look like this. I think my last shower was like two days ago, and the shower before that was like three days prior. Um, I had every intention of taking a shower this morning, um, but then ridiculousness happened. So I'd rather fly than take a shower anyway. So here we go. All right, we're getting close. Uh, we changed our rendezvous point to uh, Hammonds, and uh, Mark is on final right now. Jeff's already there, so we're the last ones to the show. Uh, but Ryan's gonna take this landing. It's gonna be awesome. And uh, this will be his first off-airport well landing, shot, but for uh, Hammonds. Yeah, man. So we'll be there shortly going to be a fun day. Hopefully the rest of these clouds burn off as the sun heats up.
Hey, that's Mark coming in in his cool uh, Challenger coming here, uh, landing here for his first time at uh, Hammonds. So one element I wanted to introduce into these videos is um, just a little dialogue about the hazards and risks um, of some of the airports and well, airports <laughs> landing spots that we go into um, and just go over some of the mitigation of those risks that we that we go about when we're landing in some of these places. So we'll start with Hammond since that's where uh, we're going to first today. Uh, we couldn't get into Anglin because of the clouds, so we decided to rendezvous at Hammonds instead. So um, the main issue with Hammonds is that it is a very tight squeeze. Um, you have a relatively thin runway landing zone, and you have terrain rising on one side, terrain dropping off on the other side, with bushes and trees on either side of the uh, runway. And so keeping it straight is absolutely imperative. There really is no, no room for a loss of direction control or a ground loop when you're going into this little strip. Uh, the other issue you have to take into account is the fact that it does slope uphill. It's an upsloping runway and the first portion of the runway you'll hear me talk about is clay that is quite steep. And then it levels out a little bit, still slopes up quite a bit. Um, but you don't want to land on that initial upslope that looks totally landable um, when you're on final. So that's a good thing to know coming in here. Uh, the other issue is that it is definitely a one way in, one way out strip. And so you might have to land with a little bit of tailwind, but if that wind is blowing, you really don't even want to attempt it. So wind is definitely a big consideration. Also, if the wind is blowing over the top of the ridge, it can cause turbulence and rotors and everything right above the runway, which is really the last thing you want right before you're touching down in an airplane in a tight squeeze. So those are some of the considerations that uh, you wanna take into effect going into an airport like this. But it's obviously beautiful and it's a ton of fun. And let's see how Ryan's first landing off airport goes. All right, boys, we are on kind of a wide right base right now. We'll just plan a straight in final. And remember, it slopes uphill, so you can just kind of come in a little shallow if you want and just almost let the ground come up to meet you. Okay. Does it change? Maybe slow, oh, yeah. get a little bit lower. You're still a little, little high. Boost pump? Yep, go for it. Let's Still a little high. Maybe come to the left a little bit. Because the runway actually starts with that brown area. There you go. About this approach angle is just about right. Probably have to add a little throttle now. Just remember, touchdown on the gray, not the brown. Sixty. Car beats coming off. Car beat off. Good. And Here's right now there's about a maybe eight knot wind blowing from your tail. Little right, right rudder. A little more right rudder. Plant it. Nose forward. Nice. Throttle idle. Right rudder. Right rudder. Right rudder. Right rudder. Right rudder. Get her center. Or right rudder. You're on left, man. There we go. Well now done, back. Could not have timed that any worse. <laughs> stick back. You're pushing on the left rudder. You're adding a ton of weight on the left rudder. You're just tense. There you go, dude. Hey, man. A little tense is fine, man. The <laughs> first off airport landing. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> hey, first off airport landing for Ryan. Okay. <laughs> all right, we're live. That's all that matters here. Yeah, man. Hey, and John, I just turned the radio off. When you're oh. Oh, good. Well, he did a good job because right as he was on final, man, it started blowing maybe seven, eight, nine uh, knots. A little bit better. I was nice, worried about dude. going off the right side. That's why I had oh, left. Oh, dude, no, man. You you were tied on the left. Okay, There's sorry, plenty dude, of room was... on the right. Catched out, bro. <laughs>
Yeah, we're here at Hammond's, all three of us, the whole crew for the day. Finally, we found a good place to rendezvous. That landing was super fun. As you can see, Ryan was on left rudder, I was on right rudder, and we went right down the middle of the runway. So it was a good team <laughs> landing. It was perfect. <laughs> well, hey, guys. High fives all around. Nice. Good job, This guys. is awesome. Woo! <laughs> Just look to the side of the of the cowl while we're rolling on the, the three wheels and look for any deviation left or right. My guess is you could probably come right just a little bit, but get it rolling straight. You got tons of room and it's downhill into the wind. Nice and light on the pedals. Good to go when you are. One. Uh, three, two, one, roll. Cool. Now there you go, neutral stick, just going nice and straight, looking good, now stick forward all the way if she isn't, beautiful, there's 40, you can rotate, and we're off! Woo! 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 <laughs> Want to do that breakaway real nice, quick? Nice, dude. All right, flaps up. So we're and going through 80. And flaps all the way coming out. Oh, yeah. Uh, going along this road now uh, and it's definitely looking pretty uh, kind of steep with undulating uh, terrain so so far at first glance it looks like a no-go unless we can find one little section that's straight and uh, flat enough Catch balls, dude. <laughs> the, uh, the dirt looks a little soft though, Mark, uh, but I mean, we can have a look. There's no, no harm in taking a look. All right, yeah. Yeah, there's some spot, some straight sections here. That part, that section is nice and straight and flat. Yeah, we found a pretty nice uh, flat area. Uh, it does look like there might be some wet spots. Uh, but we might at least just drag the mains a little bit and uh, have a look here. But it looks decent. Um, we'll do a little, a few more real low passes, look for some rocks. I'm seeing there might be a couple embedded boulders here and there. That sounds like a job for Monster Shock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, somebody 
with a lot more skill than I would be able to pull it off, no problem. Uh, but maybe send it to the guys with more experience if they wanted to check it out. There's some doable looking parts, but you're right, I agree, but it's definitely soggy. Yeah, that section right there that you're going past right now, Jeff, that's the section that I was thinking of. Uh, so maybe uh, when it dries out, that might be worth having a look. So this Ridgetop Dirt Road was a spot that I found on Google Earth when I was perusing the area looking for possible spots we could go land on um, in the area that we were going to be flying in that day. And uh, I found this place. It looked uh, doable from the Google Earth perspective. You can rotate the view so you can look and see what it looks like from a, a ground level perspective. You can see if it's, if it's undulating too much. Um, you can get a guess. Um, well, the main reason we didn't want to land there on this trip was because the ground was wet, so it was muddy and also it was really rutted from some OHV uh, vehicle use. And the last thing we wanted to do was uh, touch down and have one of the main tires go into a rut and then all of a sudden have that cross extra drag and yaw the airplane off to the side. When I checked on Google Earth, it looked like this uh, road was a bit wider than it ended up being. And uh, the issue here is if you lose directional control, you're going to be going off the side of a ridge <laughs> and obviously that would not be a good day and so there obviously is absolutely no wiggle room if you happen to lose directional control or have some sort of ground loop now granted these airplanes can fly at very slow speeds especially if you have a downhill um, to work with so if you really didn't like what you were feeling you could probably add power and just get out of there um, with the benefit of the dropping terrain on both sides. But that was a risk factor that we did not want to attempt um, until we can find a nice, flat, wide, straight section along this uh, ridge top. And we'd rather um, go into bushes than um, a steep drop off on the side of it. So those are some of the issues with this place and that's why we decided not to even try dragging a wheel or a tire until um, maybe it dries out a little bit. We'll go have a look. It's in our playground anyway. So we might go have a look at a later date when it's dry and not as muddy and see if we can find a, a better spot along that ridge. And if not, well, we'll just leave that to people that are far more skilled than I am and we'll live to fly another day okay cool we'll we'll stay up here if you're doing a flyby um, we'll try to film your landing uh, with the GoPro um, after you come around cool I'm on the ground. I think we might have caught that landing, actually. Oh, dude, no, it caught it crazy, bro. No, it was sick. Nice. And it was, like, <laughs> sick. So now uh, we're heading over to Stumpy. Um, Stumpy 2 is where we're going on this one, and Ryan's going to have his next off-airport landing attempt. And uh, some of the issues with Stumpy is its namesake, the stumps. Um, this is one that in a previous video Jeff and I walked before we actually landed there because there are a lot of embedded stumps that would really rip apart your landing gear if you happen to hit one of them. Even our shock monsters might not do so hot if we took it if we took one of these stumps at you know 40 miles an hour or so. Um, 
So we walked it, we cleared out some driftwood last time we were there and the lake level hasn't gone up since. So we know it's pretty, pretty clear. And uh, we still wanna do a low pass and just check for any new obstructions that have shown up. But yeah, the stumps are the big deal here. Don't wanna hit one of those. They make great runway edge markers, but that's about it. Um, and they help you to identify a good location where you wanna to touch down. And that's what we use those stumps for here. Other than that, it's flat, it's wide, and besides the cow poo, it's really nice. So this is a great spot for uh, Ryan to do um, his second off airport landing. So super excited about all this. Ryan's super stoked about landing off airport now and it's just really fun to ride along and uh, experience it with him. So yeah, you got that, that stump on the right and then you got that stick, that tall thing that sticks up. You saw that, yep, right? Yep, 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 yeah, you don't want to clip that, obviously. And then just keep an eye on your speed. You've got plenty of space. You can always just put it down and work on slowing down later. How fast approach? About, you know, six, 55 to 60. 60's okay. probably fine since you're gonna wheel land it anyway, I'm sure. Yeah. So you can start to see that, that stump. You wanna to touch down kind of a beam that stump. Sixty. 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 All right, so you got the stump in sight. Stump sight. Yep. Maybe a little right rudder. You're kind of moved off to the left. A little right rudder. Get her going straight. There we go. Forward stick. Get on the brakes a little bit, a little right rudder. Go, now get that tail down. Got your flaps coming up on the brakes. And we're here. Now you can get it hard on the brakes if you want. You're good. Nice work, dude. How much were you? Huh? How much were you on that? Not at all. No Not way. Not at all. Not that was all me. Not at all. That was all you, dude. <laughs> yes! Recording. Sorry. <laughs> Nice, dude. <laughs> Boom! At least I didn't cuss until at least we were stopped. <laughs> nice, dude. Sick. Dude, you're bagging all kinds of off, off airport yeah. landings today. This is awesome, dude. I love it. Freaking nice. I haven't done a landing yet today, dude. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. <sighs> so cool, man. We are here at Stumpy 2. It is an absolute gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous December day. Gosh, I could be in a t-shirt right now and maybe I will be here shortly because I brought the Shock Monster tea. Yes, I think I did, yes. And uh, we are gonna grab some lunch, have a little uh, lakeside picnic here, and then maybe do some uh, short, short takeoff and landing practice just for fun, so. Enjoy. We are. Hey. What's on the menu today? Oh, Ryan's yeah. lovely lady made us all sandwiches. Uh, Mark got the one that said I love you, so I don't know about that. <laughs> there might be a brawl here today at Stumpy. Look, this one does too. Sweet. Oh, it says it. Thanks, said I love you to multiple people. Okay, we all love you too. Yeah, we should, we should all text her say, and I love you. <laughs> Anyway, Jeff brought MREs. I'm always prepared. Yep, I brought some snacks, including Rice Krispies treats, like always. So we are ready to I feast. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. Snickers. My Everybody, face. this is Mark. Uh, Mark actually is uh, the new, ha new hire for uh, my company. So pretty soon it's just uh, the John and Mark show mm -hmm. for uh, our corporate gig. So he's a Citation 10 pilot as well and a Challenger 2 pilot. 
So uh, we like fast airplanes, we like slow airplanes. Fly fast, fly slow. Which is better, Mark? Flying oh, slow or slow, fast? Of course. Ask anybody. Ask anybody that does both. Flying slow is better than fast. Low and slow is what it's all about. <laughs> We're nerding out over Mark's Challenger here now. So check this beast out. Super cool. And it even has a ballistic parachute on the top. How cool is that? Hopefully you never have to use it, but if you do, you'll be happy you have it. Not boring at all, man. That was a sweet little air show. <laughs> I like, I always, re I regretted, I instantly regretted it every time I stopped filming. That was fun to watch, man. <laughs> the Challenger 2. All right, so now it's my turn to have some fun. All right, going for short on this one. Wow. That was fun! Yeah! Alright, Jeff is heading out after a super fun day. Yeah. It was right. fun, man. I can't wait to do that again. Absolutely. Have a good flight back. Buddy. Hey, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Alright, you too, man. Thanks. All right, it's our turn to depart. Mark is gonna try to get a drone shot of the takeoff. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. And uh, what a fun, fun day. Again, we uh, 
We're trying to find some new spots. Uh, as you can see, we just decided it wasn't worth the go today at that one spot. Um, but uh, hey, we're back to our old familiar Stumpy and Hammonds. And uh, hey, still this had a place blast. <laughs> oh, I gotta edit that now. You did that on purpose. <laughs> so, tons of fun. Off we go. Go cool, already, one. <laughs> Gotta love it. I do. Which way do you want me to break? Uh, pull out about that heading now. And uh, you will break left if you'll break right. I'll break right when you say break. Okay, I'm going to move in a little more behind you, and we'll break in 3, 2, 1, break. So Mark, that was too much fun, buddy. Have a nice, safe flight home. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it's been an awesome day. Thanks for inviting me along. Absolutely. Hey, man, you're always welcome. Cool. Isn't it cool, dude? You're hanging out with a bunch of jet jocks. Yeah. And all we do is daydream about stole and bush flying, man. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. This is the best kind, dude. Oh, absolutely. Four flaps. Check. Carbine on. What? Total boost pump on. Alba traffic. Uh, kit box 531. Papa Lima's turn and final. 425. Alba. Alright, so the key to landing short is being a little slower. Yeah, totally. You give yourself all that nose up. Power traffic, 949, downwind, runway 25, Auburn. 60. Come on, pretend you're at Hammond's beat. <laughs> 60. 60. Good. Point to nose to the rudders. Yep, point 60. To the rudders. There we go. 60. Is that done? 60. Forward stick, throttle to idle. I'm going to start retracting your flaps for you. Now you can fly that tail down to the runway. Oh, totally straight. Oh, yeah, dude. Woo! Nice. That was way better, nice, dude. dude. Way yeah. better transition. I think 60 is your number, dude. Yeah, I think I was going way too oh, fast, yeah. dude. But that gives you a little more control, but 60 is great. Then you have less time in that transition. You'll be able to get your tail down a little quicker. Yeah. Especially for you the Dude, that was such a sick landing, dude. Dude, that was a transition. Nice. Oh, it was totally straight. <laughs> That's awesome. Love it. <coughs> Love it, dude. You're right, dude. Like. I was just kind of pretending we were out there, yeah. trying to just land shorter and low yeah. slower. I was like, yeah. I think before it seemed like I was at 70 or something, man, like yeah. going way yeah. too fast yeah. when I touched. So um, I really apologize for taking so long to get this video out to you. Um, we literally did this flight 
well over a month ago, but um, my sister a while back clued my wife into this paint color called Revere Pewter, and she's been obsessed with it ever since. And now I have been spending my time, look at that color, that's beautiful. That's not Revere Pewter, that's what I painted it before um, by my wife's wishes. And now everything has to be Revere Pewter in this house, everything. Everything. So this room, look at our bedroom. Oh, that, that blanket brown and blue denim or whatever that color was. Gorgeous. Gonna be Revere Pewter. I just painted this bathroom not too long ago. That's Revere Pewter. Ah! Revere Pewter. My son's room. Accent wall but the rest, Revere Pewter. It takes a lot of time to paint everything Revere Pewter. Okay, downstairs. Don't worry, this won't take long. So now into this room. Oh yeah, here we go. This room was fun. That all is Revere Pewter. You guys don't know of it your wives probably do but yeah revere pewter it's the death of me and uh, now apparently revere pewter is so five years ago the new paint color that everybody's crazy about it's called gossamer veil it's the same thing don't let my wife hear about gossamer veil i might have to not let her watch this video Thank you.